Biological diversity or biodiversity is much more than just a number of species. It involves their interconnection and their interrelationships. All living beings, from the smallest to the largest, the oldest, the ephemeral, the charismatic, the most bizarre, perhaps emblematic, every single one of us is part of biological diversity. Each individual, with its unique characteristics, as well as its inheritance and genetic legacy, is part of the great natural universal diversity. Living beings and their environments make up a fragile machinery, ecosystems. Time also plays a vital role. Today's biodiversity is the result of millions of years of evolution. All living beings depend on each other. Life on our planet depends on the system formed by genes, species, and ecosystems in a single word, biodiversity. From biodiversity, we obtain various goods and services. Rivers and lakes provide us with water. Oceans, forests and jungles generate atmospheric oxygen. Biodiversity also provides us with food and medicines. Humanity cannot flourish without the raw materials provided by nature. Each day, urban communities demand more natural resources from distant areas. Healthy ecosystems mitigate the negative impacts of climate change. Some constitute a barrier against natural disasters. They protect us from floods and hurricanes. They enable human well-being. However, our world today is going through an environmental crisis due to the loss of biodiversity due to five main causes. Degradation, fragmentation and direct loss of ecosystems, over-exploitation, pollution, climate change, introduction of invasive alien species. What can we do? Broadly speaking, Three things. 1. Protect and conserve biological diversity. 2. Use the components of biodiversity in a sustainable way. 3. Share in a fair and equitable way the benefits arising from the utilization of genetic resources. These are the main objectives that the world's nations have agreed to at the Convention of Biological Diversity, CBD. Since 1992, this convention has brought together its parties for 12 meetings known as Meetings of the Conference of the Parties, or COP. A significant number of countries are working to meet these objectives at a global level, which may well be the most important of our time the test and more severe challenge for the 21st century. In December 2016, Mexico will host the 13th meeting of a conference of the parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity, COP13, and the meetings of the Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety and the Nagoya Protocol on Access to Genetic Resources. During the COP13, the progress of the implementation of a strategic plan 2011-2020 and the fulfillment of its IEG targets, whose aim is living in harmony with nature, will be reviewed. The theme proposed by Mexico for the COP13 is Mainstreaming Biodiversity for Well-Being, which outlines that in order to ensure our long-term well-being, productive sectors, in particular agriculture, forestry, fisheries and tourism must integrate conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity into their public policies. The success in meeting the objectives of the CBD depends on the joint efforts of all countries. The future of biodiversity depends on the decisions and actions of the millions of people who live on this planet. A better future is actually possible if we comply with the agreements and measures proposed by the CBD. Only this way, we can build a new sustainable and harmonious relationship between humanity and nature.